want some plot files, but what are they? Why do you need them? Where do you get them? Hopefully this video will help answer the above questions, so let's get cracking. So Burstcoin makes use of what are called plot files, or plots, to mine. These plot files are files containing pre-computed hashes that can be used to forge blocks for the Burstcoin blockchain. The plots created are used by a Burst miner, so for example Scavenger, to scan for and submit deadlines. The shortest submitted deadline forges the block. There's a lot more detail to be found about the exact makeup of a plot file and how the hashes are calculated on the Burst Wiki website. I encourage you to have a read. If you don't already have an account created, open the wallet and create an account like so. Make a note of this password. This is the only way to access your account. Go grab the numeric account ID by clicking on the Burst account ID and choose Copy Numeric Account ID. Make a note of this. We'll need it later. So now we have our numeric account ID. We need to create a place to store the plot files. I'm going to create a directory called Burst and a subdirectory called Plots. Now it's time to create the plots with Engraver. But first, let's go over what the file name of the plots represent. This will help with planning your plot files later. The name of your plot file is made up of three things. The numeric account ID for the account, which you are mining for, the starting nonce, and the number of nonces contained. So in this example, we have an account ID that we got earlier, the starting nonce, zero in this case, and the number of nonces contained in the plot file. Here we have a thousand. When creating multiple plot files, it's important that you do not have overlapping plots. So if I were to create another plot file with another thousand nonces, I would want to start at a number higher than my previous plot file. So the simplest way to do this is start nonce plus number of nonces. In this case, a thousand. So the starting nonce for the next plot file would be a thousand and one. Alternatively, I could just start my next plot file at another number like two thousand. Plots don't have to be sequential. It doesn't matter if you have gaps. The important thing is that they do not overlap. Now that we know a little about plot files, let's make some. Navigate to where you have the engraver executable and run the command with the correct options. The first option, ID, is your numeric account ID. This is the number that we got earlier from within the first coin wallet. The next option is the start nonce, in this case zero because it's our first plot file. The next one, number of nonces, in this case a thousand. And the final option is the path to store the plot files. This is the directory that I created earlier. Now the plot files are being created. If you are creating a large plot file, this can take many, many hours. And there's the first plot file. Let's create another one. This time, our starting nonce is going to be 2000. This makes sure that it doesn't overlap with the last one we made. And there you go. You can see the two plot files that we've just created. Obviously, if we were creating a larger plot file, this would take a lot longer. I've just done this for speed. Hopefully this video helps someone who's looking to get started with Burstcoin. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Alternatively, visit the Burstcoin subreddit or Discord channel. Links are in the description. That's all for now. Ta-ta!